Hey there, my name is Sophia and I'm 40 years old. I had the misfortune of being married to a man named Aiden. You see, I met Aiden when I was young and naive. I was a teenager and at that time, nothing was more important to me than being in a relationship. Aiden was charming and seemed like the perfect guy. So after graduating college, we decided to get married. Little did I know that our fairy tale would turn into a nightmare. Aiden and I were married for 10 long years. However, the last few were really upsetting. During those years, Aiden did things that made sure that I was isolated. He convinced me to move to another state for a job by telling me that it would help us financially. Aiden made me believe that he was the only person I could rely on and he slowly cut me off from my loved ones. He made it seem like he was the one who cared for me, but in reality, he was just manipulating me. I thought moving away would bring us closer, but it only made things worse. I felt trapped and helpless in our relationship. Aiden's actions constantly made me question my worth and happiness. I constantly felt like I was in deep pain with no room for escape from it. Once we moved to our new place, I struggled to find a job and make friends in this unfamiliar place. Aiden capitalized on my vulnerability. He convinced me to be a stay-at-home wife. I agreed only because I hoped it would bring us closer. Little did I know that it would only make things worse. Aiden became demanding and dismissive. He would never appreciate any of my efforts and would only assign me a never-ending list of chores. He argued that since I didn't have a job, I had no reason to complain about being tired. I tried to tell him that looking after the house was just as tiring, but he would never listen. I found myself working hard, cleaning the house, doing laundry, taking care of everything. It didn't take long for me to feel really tired. The only reason I stayed with Aiden was because I thought that love meant going through hard times together. And I foolishly believed we could handle anything. One day, I found out about Aiden's multiple affairs while he was napping. His phone kept buzzing and I got curious. I looked at his messages and found out he had other women he was seeing. It hurt so much. I kept looking and found out that he had been cheating on me with many women over a year and a half. The cherry on the cake? He started cheating on me when he convinced me to become a housewife. I was beyond upset. I felt like I was going numb. I knew that even if I wanted to do something, I was stuck in the relationship and wouldn't be able to do anything to help myself. Aiden had cut me off from everything and isolated me. I didn't have any money or support. I was depressed and upset for a whole week, but I also knew that I couldn't keep feeling this way. I knew that the longer I believed that I was alone, the more alone I was. I decided to call my mom. I dialed my mom's number with shaking hands. I had always shared a very close relationship. It wasn't until I absolutely needed her that I realized how much I missed her. Hello? Mom, it's me, Sophia. Sophia, oh my dear, where have you been all these years? I've missed you so much. I'm so sorry, mom. I didn't mean to disappear like this. I didn't know what to do. It's all right, sweetheart. Just hearing your voice is a blessing. Please tell me where you are and what's been happening. Mom, it's been a nightmare. Aiden, he cheated on me. Lied to me. I've been living in another state, isolated from everyone. I feel broken, powerless. Oh, my poor dear. You've been through so much. I'm here for you now. Please tell me what you need. I want to come home. I can't stay here anymore. I need your help. Of course, my baby. Pack your bags immediately and get on the next flight back home. Don't worry about the expenses. I'll take care of everything. Just promise me 
that you'll come back safely. Thank you, Mom. Thank you for being there for me. I'll do as you say. I just want to be with you again. That's all I want to, my dear. I love you, Sophia. I love you too, Mom. See you soon. While Aidan was at work, I gathered together all my belongings. I scraped together whatever money I could find around the house. Once I had everything together, I decided to head straight for the airport. I began to feel a lot lighter when my flight began to take off. When I finally got to my mother's home, I collapsed into my mother's arms. We cried tears of joy and relief. We were finally together again. However, Aidan was not ready to let go so easily. He kept calling me over and over again. I tried to ignore all his calls and texts, but eventually they irritated me too much. I answered his call. What do you think you're doing? Why didn't you cook me dinner? And where did you go without telling me? Aidan, I've had enough. I can't take your abuse any longer. I'm leaving you. Oh, you think you can just walk away from me? You're nothing without me. I'm done with you treating me like crap. I deserve better than this. From now on, if you have anything to say, communicate through my lawyer. Your lawyer? You think that'll protect you? You come crawling back to me just like before. No, Aiden, I won't be coming back. You can't do this to me. You're mine. Wrong. I am my own person and I won't allow you to control me any longer. I deserve respect and happiness, which you have denied me for far too long. You regret this, Sophia. You'll never find anyone better than me. I don't need someone like you in my life, Aiden. I'm strong and I will rebuild my life without you. Goodbye. You'll see, Sophia. You'll regret leaving me. Better still, I'll find someone better than you. No, Aiden, I won't. Good luck and goodbye. After hanging up the phone, I felt so relieved. I finally stood up against Aiden's bad behavior and decided to leave. His angry words still hurt, but I felt strong and determined. I knew I deserved respect and a better life. I felt hopeful for the future. Then... The divorce process started. Aiden fought hard to get everything in his favor, and it was exhausting for me. My mom told me to let go and move forward because it was taking a toll on me. In the end, Aiden got what he wanted, and it felt really unfair. My heart hurt from it all. Well, as they say, time heals all wounds. Slowly but surely, I began to be myself again. Thanks to my mom's connections, I managed to get a job. I also focused on rebuilding the relationships that Aiden had forced me to break. I even decided to try dating again. My friends would regularly set me up on blind dates and I would happily indulge in them because they made me feel better. Although some of those dates were pretty good, none of them felt like they were the right fit. I'm not going to lie, but I also went on these dates because... I finally felt ready to find myself another partner. I wanted to experience the highs of a relationship once again. At some point, casually going on these blind dates became less than casual. I started losing hope of ever finding a partner who truly understood me. But then, one day, my best friend Kiara came knocking at my door. She began telling me about this perfect man that she had found for me. She kept asking me to go on a date with him. She saw how apprehensive I was about it, so she told me that his name was Ian and that he was the CEO of a prominent tech firm in our city. Sophia, I have the perfect guy for you. Trust me, you'll love him. Kiara, I appreciate your efforts, but I've been on so many dates already. None of them worked out and I'm losing hope. I know, I know, but this one's different. I have a good feeling about him. Just give it one more try, please. I don't know. I'm tired of getting my hopes up only to be disappointed again. Please, you deserve to find happiness. 
Ian is an incredible guy, successful and caring. I wouldn't push you if I didn't believe in him. Just one more blind date, that's all I'm asking. Fine, Kiara. One more blind date, but if it doesn't work out, I'm done. Deal? Deal. Trust me, Sophia, this could be the one. You won't regret it. Thank you for giving him a chance. You deserve all the happiness in the world. I hope you're right. I didn't want to go on any more blind dates, but Kiara convinced me to try one last time with Ian. I didn't know it then, but that date changed everything. Ian was charming and funny, and we laughed a lot. It felt so easy and comfortable to be with him. Time flew, and we spent eight hours together. It was like magic. We kept going on more dates and got closer. I learned that Ian had a daughter named Lisa from his college days. She was really important to him, and I was okay with that. After a year of being together, Ian asked if I would meet his daughter. I was nervous but excited to meet Lisa. When we met, we instantly became best friends. We were like more than just stepmother and stepdaughter. We supported each other through everything. A few days after we met, Ian proposed to me and we got married two months later. Now for the exciting part, the revenge. One day, Lisa called us together all excited to share some news. She told us about her engagement to a man she had been dating for a year. I was happy for her and wanted to see pictures of her fiancé. But as the images appeared before me, time seemed to stand still. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Aiden, my ex-husband, staring back at me from the photographs. My heart sank and a gasp escaped my lips involuntarily. I excused myself from the room, needing a moment to collect my thoughts and regain my composure. When I returned, I knew I had to share the truth with Ian and Lisa. I couldn't let Aidan deceive another innocent person. With a mixture of courage and determination, I revealed the painful details of my past relationship with Aidan. Lisa, Ian... There's something important I need to tell you. It's about the man you're engaged to, Lisa. I know him. His name is Aiden, and he's my ex-husband. What? Aiden? Are you sure, Sophia? Yes, darling. I'm sure. I recognized him in the pictures Lisa showed us. I was married to him for seven years, and I experienced firsthand the pain and abuse he inflicted on me. Oh my goodness, Sophia, I had no idea. What do you mean by abuse? He cheated on me with many women, and it completely broke my trust. He isolated me by cutting me off from my loved ones, and he convinced me to move away under the pretense of a better job opportunity. But I have proof, like pictures of messages and conversations that show what he did. I gathered all the evidence and kept it safe. If you want, I can show you the file with everything I've collected. Oh, good God, no, baby. I don't think we need to see proof of anything. The look of pain on your face right now is speaking volumes. Why didn't you tell me about all this earlier, though? I hate to think that you went through all of this alone. I'm sorry for not sharing this with you earlier, baby. It was a painful chapter of my life and I wanted to move on from it. But when I saw Aiden's face, I knew I couldn't let him hurt someone else. I had to protect Lisa from the same pain I endured. Thank you for being brave enough to share this with us. Lisa, you need to seriously consider what Sophia is saying. You can't ignore her experiences and the evidence she's presented. You're right, Ian. This changes everything. Sophia, I'm grateful to you for saving me from a terrible mistake. I can't thank you enough. Lisa, you deserve to be with someone who loves and respects you. Someone who would never hurt you. Please take the time to think about what's best for your happiness. You did the right thing by speaking up, my love. We will handle this situation together and we won't let Aiden continue to cause harm. 
Thank you, both of you. It means a lot to have your support. Let's make sure Aiden doesn't have the power to hurt anyone else. I felt so loved and supported by my new family. I also realized that revenge was within my grasp. I told her to put a halt in calling off the engagement. I knew Aiden would call and I prepared myself for his bragging about marrying Lisa, a rich CEO's daughter. But I had a plan. I put the call on speakerphone with Lisa and Ian beside me. Hello, Aiden. Well, 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 Sophia. I bet you never expected to hear from me. More like I hope never to hear from you, but you're very predictable. I'm about to marry Lisa, the daughter of a wealthy CEO. I won again, just like I did when we divorced. She's not like you. She's got money and she's naive enough to fall for me. I won't make the same mistakes with her. Oh, Aiden, how predictable of you to gloat. You believe you've won, don't you? Of course I've won. I'll be living the good life while you continue to struggle. You'll never be able to replace me. Is that what you think? That your shallow victories define you? Absolutely. And Lisa will be my golden ticket. Her money will be my way out of this miserable existence. Well, Aiden, here's a little reality check for you. I know Lisa, and she won't be marrying you. Nice try. You can't ruin my happiness. I'm smarter than that. Aiden, Sophia is telling the truth. I am breaking off our engagement. You can't possibly expect me to marry you after not only what you said about me, but especially after the way you treated Sophia. You, you can't be serious. You're just believing her lies. Sophia gave me more than enough proof of your lies. I don't want to be a part of it. Oops, there goes your golden ticket. How do you know Lisa? Oh, right. I'm now married to Lisa's father, Ian. So not only did I expose your true nature, but I've also found love and happiness with someone who respects and values me. I did do better than you, and I didn't even have to try very hard. No, this can't be happening. He had a panic attack, and I couldn't help but feel satisfied. He had caused me so much pain, and now he was facing the consequences. The power shifted from him to me, and it felt empowering. Aiden, who had mistreated and ignored me, was finally getting what he deserved. Seeing him struggle to regain control, I felt a sense of closure. I not only exposed his true nature, but also found love and support from Ian, who respected me. In the end, I finally got the love I deserved and also found out how strong I was. Lisa ended her engagement to Aiden after she saw and heard of his true nature. She thanked me profusely for saving her from a life of misery. Life continued to unfold and Ian, Lisa and I formed a loving and supportive family. With time, the wounds of the past began to fade as we built new memories filled with laughter, love, and understanding. In Ian, I found a partner who loved and valued me, and Lisa became the daughter who brought me a lot of joy. While revenge may have initially satisfied a deep desire for justice, its significance paled in comparison to the triumph of healing and moving forward. Regrets no longer burdened me as I had reclaimed my life and discovered a happiness that surpassed all expectations. Though the past held darkness, it ultimately led me to a new beginning, a life filled with love, compassion, and unwavering strength to overcome any challenge that comes my way.